reporting for Katie Chats here at the Pinnacle on Adelaide at the Toronto International Film Festival with director producer Misha Perez. How did you start working with Richard Miles? <laughs> well, it's kind of a fun story. Um, Richard and I were both actually federal officers. We were for DHS, um, Department of Homeland Security in the United States. and. Um, he had come up with this concept of horror, because we both love horror films, and he's got this great character, and he's like, Misha, would you take some pictures of it? He found out I did some professional photography. I'm like, sure, so I show up at his house, I'm getting my camera ready, and he pops in with this big scary character. As you see, he's 6'4", big scary guy, I'm like, yes, this is great! So I said, you know, you know, we should make this into a movie. And he said, really? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, guess what, I just finished the screenplay. I'm like, oh, you're kidding. So we got very excited. Um, you know, we hit it off, we decided to create our new company called Viper Productions, and uh, we went off from there. Um, I do all the technical things, I do the photography, I do the producing, I'm the executive producer and director of the film, uh, as well as Richard, he helps out with the producing and all that, and he composed all the tracks, the, the soundtrack. And what was it like directing Richard in Mental, Mental Scars? Scars? Yes, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun, we had uh, Sonny Landham, from Predator, if you remember him, the big Native American guy. Uh, just an awesome, awesome guy. And so, you know, we did get to work with Celebrity Status and Richard was there. And what was great is his character was so scary and new that we are actually scaring people on the way back to the hotel. So, <laughs> so we're very excited about that. Yeah, yes, it works, you know. <laughs> so. And what types of projects are you hoping to develop in the future? Well, we're actually uh, developed Mental Scars 2. Uh, Richard wrote the original screenplay, but I wrote the second version of it, so I'm very excited about that. It's a really, really scary. We have a lot of um, potential star actors, icon actors like Michael Berryman, who've already really want to commit to the film, and he actually uh, promotes uh, the first one at uh, MonsterCon and all that, so he loves us. We're great friends. We had a lot of fun with Michael. Um, we have an app on the iPhone called Dead Zone Magazine, you can get it, uh, at the uh, iTunes iStore, and um, it has interviews and Michael's in it. So we're very excited about that kind of stuff and uh, we're looking forward to doing Mental Scars too and some other really, really big projects will help fund those projects. <laughs> and what are you most excited about for Richard's new album, Musica de Soul? Musica de Soul, what a great album. It's already all over the internet. It's um, on digital platforms all over the world and we're getting a lot, a lot of positive feedback and it's only been released for about, what, 15 days now. So we're very excited about it. Uh, a lot of people just love his music, especially if you're into the ambient music and I, I want a whole change from mainstream. Uh, it's just a great, great track. And like I said, we've had so much positive success with it. So we're really happy about that. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and on your work online? Well, actually you can go to our website, mentalscars.com. Yes, we always got to keep that film in there, but it has everything. It has all of Richard's music, our links to photography, so if you need professional photography done, or anything that, uh, if you find out that we're doing a latest movie, because we're independent, we like to give people a chance, so we have open casting calls. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Misha, and congratulations, and best of luck with your upcoming project. Thank you so much for having me, Katie. You're very welcome. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats, here on the Pinnacle on Adelaide for the Toronto International Film Festival. <laughs> Kind of mouthful. Yes, I know right now. Great. Oh. Picture time. Yeah. <laughs>